Hi everyone, this is Arundhati here. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Arundhati Tech for you. In this video, we are going to learn about a schedule. Okay, so if you are new to my video and if you want to learn DBMS, you can go through my channel playlist where you will find a DBMS playlist where remaining videos are available. And if you want to learn in Telugu, there is also a, another uh, playlist called DBMS in Telugu where remaining videos are available. And if you don't want to miss my video, please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like and share my video. So let us move to our topic. Okay. So coming to our topic schedule. So we know generally when in our daily life, we have a lot of uh, plannings and schedules, right? Timetables, right? So schedule, you know, uh, here we are planning in a proper timings and means giving proper timings. Okay. So as we know, the transactions are set of instructions and these instructions perform perform operations on database. So suppose if uh, I want to withdraw money, there are a lot of set of instructions and operations will be performed, right? To withdraw money, for example, putting card, um, uh, selecting the language, selecting the saving account. Okay. So all these are what is operations. Now, when you, when you perform a transaction, it, they have multiple operations. For suppose, suppose you are performing multiple op transactions, what happens when multiple transaction runs concurrently, then there are need, need to be a sequence in which operation perform. See the operation now should perform sequentially. Otherwise what happens because at a, a, at a time only one operation can be performed on the database. So one operation can be performed. If multiple try operation try to perform, what happens? There will be a inconsistent data, right? So these sequence of operations is known as schedule. Now, if the, these operations are performing in the sequence, then it is called a schedule, right? Now schedule again, I can show you a simple example. For example, a train arrives on a platform. Okay. See, there are only two platforms, but there are multiple trains. So all the trains cannot come at the time, right? So a two pay platform. So what we'll do, we will just arrange them different slots, different time. So that one comes after that another can come on the platform. So one come and go after that other one. So there will be no collusion, right? Okay. Same way we are performing schedule in on the database, right? Now this schedule are divided in two types, serial schedule, non serial schedule. Okay. So serial schedule, non serial means parallel. Okay. For example, you can pay electricity bill. Okay. In the electric office or online. For example, if you want to pay electricity bill in the office, what you'll do, you'll go and stand in the queue right and uh, one person will pay after that another person will pay right until one transaction complete other transaction will not occur that's called serial but what happens if you are paying online suppose you are paying with a phone pay or something you will just pay at a time lot of multiple people will pay at a time so now here the transactions are happening at a time parallel or concurrently right now see what happens in the serial schedule read write it will, he will check the balance. He will pay the balance amount after one person complete second T2, T2 transactions. He will check the balance. He will pay next again. He will check the balance and he will pay not balance. Sorry, check the uh, bill and pay. Right. So, but what happened in online at a time? See, they are not in order after one here. Nobody is waiting for another person. Right. So you can say one, two, they are in these two steps. Uh, T2 is waiting for T1 to complete after see, T3, four steps. It is waiting for the. Uh, T2 complete after fourth step T2 has completed then fifth step taken by the T3 but here at a time at a time everybody was paying online uh, electric bill right okay now once again schedules are two types serial schedule non serial schedule just now we have seen the example right now let us see serial schedule what is serial schedule as the name say all the transactions execute serially uh, serially one after the another one after the another see in serial schedule, a transaction does not start executing until the current transaction, uh, current running transaction finish execution. Uh, so what you're saying until one transaction complete, another, uh, another transaction cannot be start. For example, somebody is paying a bill. A person is being, if uh, you went to a, a ma mart, okay. You went to a D mart or uh, some uh, shop, uh, what do you say? Some shopping mall. So uh, what happens one person billing after completing a one person billing another person suppose he forgot something what they will do they will just stop the next uh, customer and uh, allow, allow him to go and bring the product because uh, they cannot 
do two transactions at a time means it, they cannot hold one transaction and they cannot start another transaction so after completing one transaction they can start the another right okay so this type of execution of a transaction is also known as non interleaved see it is not coming in between right so serial schedules are recoverable so if something happened to a customer if any problem then you can cancel the bill and you can give you back the money but if you are doing simultaneously what happens you will confuse who has paid you don't know who whose bill is proper you got properly you don't know right so uh, the serial schedule always the correct result will be correct right so as you can see just now electric bill we have uh, taken right you can also take a example of train okay so one train come after that another one will come on the platform right they will not come at a time right so non serial schedule uh, there are multiple transactions see execute concurrently simultaneously unlike serial schedule where one transaction must wait for another to complete all its operations in the non serial schedule the operation the other transaction proceed without completing of the previous transaction so that all the transaction operations interleaved or mixed with each other uh, so they are what happened they are mixed with each other see at a time lot of people are paying the money they are now mixed right so non serial schedule are not always recoverable cascade strict and consistent that means they cannot be recovered sometime they cannot be recovered sometime they not be properly uh, done means after committing one person the other should start so after second transaction committed it has been aborted so this these things happen so inconsistency also is a problem right okay so example you can see this one. okay so at a time law uh, different different transaction see they are not waiting to complete one t1 so it is like this it was here here and it here like the t1 t2 t3 t4. okay so best example is online bill payment okay now once again serial schedule are so schedules are divided serial schedule non serial schedule okay so serial schedule uh, you know in a sequence so they are not further classified but non serial schedule are further classified into serializable non serializable means non serial schedule also can be made serial that is called as serializable some cannot be done that are called non serializable let us see what is this for example serializable is uh, always leaves database in consistent state so serial schedule always serializable serial schedule automatically is a serializable so you doesn't need to touch it okay because it is serial schedule a transaction only starts after the finish of other time but however non serial schedule need to be checked for serializability whether now we have to try whether non serializable schedule can be convert into serializable okay so a non serializable schedule of n of transaction is said to be serializable schedule if it is equivalent to the see you are i think you will be confused let, let me explain for example this is serializable schedule so after t1 completed t2 right but what happens in non serialized schedule see t1 uh, will complete a read and it will go for a t2 again it will come back to the t1 see no a loop is happening here right okay so now we have to convert this non serializable schedule to serialized that's called serializable okay converting non serial schedule to serial schedule is called as serializable right let us see for example this is a now non serializable now i want to convert into serialized what i will do i will just move this right a up see i have moved right a up so after reading right a then read a uh, read b write b see now after reading completed it has been doing uh, reading writing complete it has went to the reading and writing on b now see now it doesn't have any loop right now all will not con uh, see all, everything cannot be converted into serializable that's why those can be converted non serial can be converted into serial schedule are called serializable and which cannot be converted are non serializable okay so in serializable again two are there conflict and view serializable so let me give examples okay so conflict serializable a c a schedule is conflict serialized if can be trans uh, transform into a serialized schedule by swapping non conflict operation and operation paid becomes conflict if all conditions satisfy see both belongs to see a separate transaction they have the same data items they cannot Uh, they contain at least one write operation okay so what you are saying what are the conflicts uh, conflict uh, what do you say conflict serializability means here we have to swap okay 
so we have to swap non serial schedule to serialized schedule how we can swap how we can swap means for example i i will swap read b write b up and read a write a down is it possible of course it is possible now you can see it is not in the serializable because see t1 after t it going to t2 and t2 again going for t1 see so now i will convert this into what serializable now is it possible yes it is possible so i will explain you the how we have converted s1 before swapping to s1 after swapping let me explain you so for example first we have you have to understand the conditions to swap so what are the condition suppose if you are performing a operation on a and b then no issue they are not conflict and suppose you are performing read operation on both uh, uh, both read operation on a then also no problem because you are just reading you are not modifying but somebody is reading and somebody is writing is a conflict somebody is writing and somebody is reading is a conflict somebody is writing and somebody is writing is also a conflict because for example if i read 1000 rupees somebody has updated to uh, uh, up, updated 500 to 1000 what happened 1500 now my server will read wrongly best example is for example uh, let us assume you have paid a uh, you have balance of 2000 rupees and you paid a 1500 in a shopping mall now your transaction failed and you your mummy money was not recovered okay uh, you have waited for 2 minutes you got a message that your money has rebacked then again you tried this time it is showing low balance why you you got the message but your uh, uh, your uh, online banking didn't read the message that it has rewritten and uh, it has updated so what happens before uh, writing happened it is reading so that still it is showing as uh, low balance again if after 5 minutes you have tried means then it will be success right so here uh, see reading writing cannot happen R after writing you cannot read okay after uh, sorry reading and writing cannot be happen at a time writing and reading cannot be happen or writing and writing cannot be happen okay at a time right so you cannot swap this pair other other pairs you can swap let us see now okay so now you can swap read b write b read a write a because they are both different see here it is happening on a here it is happening on b you cannot swap this two you cannot swap this two but you can swap this two right so what i have done first i have checked to read b write a yes you can swap so i have uh, made write a down and read a b up right again it is checking read b read a now you don't have issue so you have swapped again after uh, you are checking write b write a no issue now write b write a no issue so you have uh, successfully uh, swap the elements now you have first one this is the first one and this is the last one look you are continue uh, sorry successfully swap from uh, this position to this position now you will come back to them see same thing see this one i have swapped s1 to like this how because these two are not conflict one so it it, it can be swapped so no issue so this is called conflict serializability so now after completing of t1 it is going to t2 so no issue no no loop here right now it is convert into serializable right now there is another one view serializable for example you have a read write read write now write 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 take are conflicting they cannot be swapped they cannot be swapped so what we can do you cannot swap now right but in uh, what happens in the view now we are using view serializable view serializability we will check the balance at the end of end balance should be same okay for example uh, okay right sorry okay. so you can see here first i have read a 100 okay right a that means first uh, my balance is 100 somebody has transferred 40 rupees to me so now my balance is which one t2 140 again i have transferred 50 rupees to somebody right a now what it has updated 90 now last balance is 90 right suppose if after uh, swapping also you have same balance then it is called as view serializable see reading a 100 writing what happened some i have transferred some money to my friend 50 rupees now balance is 50 again somebody has transferred me uh, 40 rupees now it has been 90 so here it is 90 here it is 90 so no issue so this kind of situation is called view serializability right now this non serial schedule which can be converted into serial schedule are not serializable 
suppose they are not unable means we cannot do it we cannot uh, make serial schedule then it is called as non serializable again these non serializable schedule are divided into no, uh, recoverable and non recoverable schedule so let us move right so non serializable schedule uh, sorry uh, serializable in dbms so there are again two okay what are there first of all this cannot be uh, uh, convert into serializable that is called non serializable schedule okay so they are recoverable and non recover recoverable what happens see recoverable uh, schedule is recoverable if each transaction commit only after all transactions from which ha it has been read is committed for example you can see here we are committing for example here read it has read as 1000 and i have added 500 rupees uh, now my balance is 1500 again it has read as 1500 so it has uh, removed 500 okay so or it has added more 500 now instead of 1500 my balance is 2000 here right so before committing means before saving the balance to the uh, server what happens the t1 transaction is aborted that means this 500 transaction is cancelled so before committing we have done so we can recover the 500 okay suppose if abort has not happened i have committed now the balance will be 2000 that means 500 which has been cancelled Uh, will not be shown in the database so then it is inconsistent right but recoverable schedule before commit it has happened so it can read so and it can recover okay but non recoverable what happens see it has been committed and here no result it is neither showing commit nor aborted suppose it has been aborted after committed no you cannot recover right so once again let us see what is this uh, schedule schedule means a time table or operations sequence of operation we can say and uh, if the operations are in a order okay so in a serial order after one after another then it is called serial suppose they are in a parallel or uh, non serial then it is called non serial and this non serialable schedule if you can convert into serial schedule then it is called as serializable in a serializable we have config serializable and view serializable if suppose you cannot convert into serial then it is called non serializable and in non serializable recoverable and non recoverable recoverable because all the transactions happen after now uh, before committed it can be recoverable here what happens after committed uh, you cannot uncommit right okay so that it cannot be recovered right so friends i hope you have liked this video if you understood the video and if you like the video please do like and subscribe and Don't forget to share the video. Thank you.